Hello everybody, good evening and thank you so much for joining me this evening. Uh, Thursday evening YouTube live video with Heather Thomas, the song songbird stamper. And um, I come to you live on a Thursday evening for a bit of crafting, a bit of chatting and uh, a bit of tutorial video. And this one was inspired by um, a challenge that we have in my team group. Um, and we have kind of creative challenges that run for two months and um, everybody who takes part gets a prize and they can be entered into a grand prize draw as well. And one of the creative challenges was to do something with the masking technique. Hey Lisa, nice to see you this evening. Um, and I had somebody ask me what the, what the masking technique was. Um, so I went on my YouTube um, to try and find a video. And I couldn't find a video that I had done that specifically talked about masking. I know we've I've done masking, but I couldn't find one. So I thought, you know what, I'll just create one. We'll do a lovely video um, all about kind of masking techniques. So that's kind of what I'm here. Hey, Carol, nice to see you this evening. I'm just going to turn that light on and see if that makes a bit of a difference, makes it a bit brighter. Um, and then I tend to give away the cards that I create um, in to one of you guys who comments. So if you're watching um, the live video, um, if you comment, and because she's here, I can say well done to Carol who won last week's card. I would show you, but it's already in the post. Um, so that's been sent out to her. Hello, Claire, nice to see you. So I've got this bold bouquet stamp set, which I've not really used. I bought it. I absolutely love the sentiments and the font and the big bold images, but I just hadn't played with it. So I thought we'd get it out and have a go. And then I've got the Stampin' Up masking paper. So we're going to have a little bit of a play with this as well. Um, again, not greatly used, but really, really nice product. So before Stampin' Up came out with this masking paper, I was using post-it notes to do the masking technique with. Um, but this is really good stuff because it's sticky all over, whereas a post-it note is just kind of sticky on one edge so it can lift up um, and I find this really good. So there's a couple of little kind of tips that I would suggest with this stuff. Ah, uh, hey Louisa, nice to see you. Thanks for hopping on. It feels really dark, this video. It feels really kind of um, odd lighting today, but yeah, apologies for that. We are one day after the summer solstice and um, it was the longest day yesterday. So I wonder who got out and enjoyed sunset and or sunrise and sunset. So, I'm going to make a project and then I might start making something else because we'll see how we get on. It is weird weather. It is. And our colours I've pulled out today are Blackberry Bliss, Bubble Bath and Soft Sea Foam. Ah, hey Lizzie, nice to see you. I um, originally made this card in Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon and... Huh, pool party. Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon at a pool party. Um, and I decided I was going to mix it up and do something a bit different. So I'll show you how. First of all, a couple of ways to use the masking paper. And then I might go a little bit off piece. So first thing I want, I want to do is cut a card base. Yeah, Louisa, it is a different combination. Um, I love purples and pinks. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. Um, I actually I oh, I like the card I didn't really like the colours that I'd used some of you would love it and I'll show you at the end um, some of you are going to love the colours that I've used but I was like oh, something's just not quite right and I was thinking I think it's because there's no purple ah Louise nice to see you this evening thank you for hopping on so this is just a standard size card base which for me is 21 centimetres by 14 and a half scored in half at 10 and a half centimetres And I've just made a, we're going landscape, so I've made a tent fold card. If you don't like tent fold cards, evening Shaz, you're right. Um, you could make a kind of one that folds open the other way just by cutting the cardstock in half the other way. But I'm going with this. And then we want a piece of cardstock, basic white, measuring 10 by 14. And that is going to be our layer. All my cardstock mats and layers get used, so I never worry about cutting up new ones. And then what we want to do is grab a piece of masking paper. 
So this masking paper, and I want it to measure six and a half by four. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this. You can cut this down to size just using a trimmer. So six and a half by four, and make sure that the edges that you're cutting are the straight edges. So I'm gonna cut that to four to begin with. And then cut that to six and a half. So that is a straight edge, so we can cut there. Evening, Chris. Nice to see you this evening. Thank you for hopping on. On a gorgeous, gorgeous Thursday evening. So what we want to do is try and stick this centrally into our piece of card. Okay, because there's a couple of different techniques with masking, and this is one of the more basic kind of techniques, and then we'll go into something a little bit more complicated. Um, so you're going to want to take the backing off of this. If you've got any kind of a fingernail, you should be okay. Just peel away the corner. But what I would suggest now is stick it onto a thing onto your hand. Now you want to take a little bit of the tack off. It's really sticky. Um, so when you first put it down, if you don't do this, you might find that when you lift it back off your cardstock, because you can reposition and, and maneuver it, you might find that it just rips the cardstock slightly. So just couple of times on the back of the hand or the arm and just take some of that tack off and then you're good to go to stick it centrally so the way I've done it is really kind of um, rudimentary and then I'm just measuring so that's 3.8 and about 3.7 so that's good and then we're looking at three and three well that went better than the last time I did it because last time I did it I didn't get it straight at all um, I'm just going to, what I think is straighten it up. I might have just made it a bit more skewy. But can you see how it's just so repositionable now that you've taken some of that tack off? Um, if you didn't do that, then it would be really quite sticky. But it still sticks really well. So you don't need to worry about that. And then, yep, just double check. 3.7 and a half, 3.7 and a half, 3 and three so we know that's central ah uh, hey carol no problem at all my absolute pleasure my pleasure so this is the kind of um the main masking technique to kind of create a block in the center and i'm just going to grab some of the stamps and i'm using the two flowers potentially both leaves i'll show you these on the front in a second and this little one as well so i've got two flowers this one here and the two leaves that I'm going for here. So I'm going to mount those on a block. Good evening, Joanna. Nice to see you this evening. Thank you for popping on. We were quiet last week. We missed lots of you. I don't know where everybody was, but out gallivanting, having lots of fun, I think. And I don't blame you in the slightest. Good for you. Summer is to be enjoyed. So that's just going to sit on this little block. It's a little bit small for it, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so Blackberry Bliss, Bubble Bath and Soft Sea Foam. Soft Sea Foam is for the leaves, so we're not going to use those quite yet. I'm going to pull in the Blackberry Bliss and we're going to go for this one first. And all I'm going to do with my masking paper down... Oh, no worries. The stamp set is Bold Bouquet. Beautiful stamps. I love the font. This happy birthday is gorgeous. Will you use that in a minute? A really, really lovely stamp set. So pick up some ink and then what we're going to do is over the edge of the masking paper is stamp. Now when you stamp with masking paper, you just want to make sure you press down quite hard because you want to get over the ridge. Let me point that out. So there's a bit of a ridge where the masking paper is. And if you don't give it a good press, you can end up with quite a gap around here. Um, and I'm just gonna do a few of these. I think this might need re-inking. I should have done this before.
So you can see I'm pressing down and that's going to give me my impression there. And then I'm going to go for one of the big ones off the side of here as well. Oh, isn't it a gorgeous colour? I don't use it anywhere near enough. Beautiful colour. And it does pair beautifully with bubble bath. I think it does anyway, so I hope you guys do it too. So one thing we need to do now, we're starting to get to the stage where we're going to want to build up. So this was our first bit of masking and we've stamped three images here. So I might just show you what that looks like, shall I? Yeah, go on. I'm not going to kind of show you the whole thing. Can you see when I peel that away, it doesn't stamp underneath. So we're going to reveal, do the big reveal at the end. So we're going to grab some more masking paper and we're just going to stamp, nearly put the blackberry brisk right into the bubble bath. That would have been a disaster, right? So we're just going to stamp a couple of big flowers. And it doesn't matter if they're full strength or, or stamped off. You just need them to be on, on the paper here. And then I'll grab a small stamp and a little bit more. Hey, Cheryl! <gasps> Wild wheat. Controversial colour, isn't it? I'm... I... Mm, hmm. I like it for some things. So I'm just going to stamp two of these in bubble bath as well. It doesn't matter what colour. It really doesn't matter what colour you stamp these, these ones in. And then we're going to fussy cut them. Exactly, Lisa. It has its place. It definitely does have its place. But mm, I'm not sure I'd choose it as a kind of main colour personally. But then again, I'm really set in my ways with colour. Um, I struggle. I made a card with masking. And I'll show you once I've done this fussy cutting. Um I can see the beauty in it, but it just doesn't shout me. Um, and I think that's just because it's not my colours. My colours are the pastels, the what do you call them, the subtles. Mm. I've been at work today, so I, I, I was up at five o'clock. I was really good, made lunch and before I went to work, um, cooked lunch, like spinach, satay and chicken it was, um, and then headed out to work. And I've just got home, had some tea and then raced up here. So excuse me if my language goes a bit funny. Um, yeah, so I am um, the past, the bright and subtles and um, purples and pinks. They're my colours. Wild wheat goes well with a uh, pretty peacock and blackberry bliss, you guys say. Well, I might have to try. That would be fun, wouldn't it? If you um, if you didn't know, I have a VIP group. Okay, so it's called the Songbirds Nest, and it's on Facebook. Everybody's welcome to join. And I tell you what, I know some of you who are suggesting these color combos at me are in that group. So hit me with a challenge. Hit me with your favorite color combo that you want me to create with, and I will. I won't promise to do all of them because like there's over a hundred people in the group. So if everybody hit me with a challenge, I'll be here till next year. But Hit me with a challenge, and I'm going to try and go out of my comfort zone a little bit. Hey, Katie, nice to see you. So, yeah, come on over to the, the um, Songbird's Nest on Facebook. I'll drop a link in the YouTube video below as well. Uh, come say hi. Come play with us. It's a really supportive, friendly group, and um, it's there for you to share your creations, me to kind of share my creations and what's going on, and for us just to have some fun together. So, yeah, hit me up with your colour combos. And I'll see what I can do. But yeah, as soon as I've done this fussy cutting, I'll show you this card. And it's with um, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, and Daffodil Delight. Now, does that sound good or terrible? I haven't yet decided. Orange and yellow. Yeah, I know, Lizzie. Orange and yellow. I genuinely sometimes look at my inks, they, and they all look gorgeous. And I'm like, what should I make? And I'm just like, oh, grab a purple. Grab a pink, grab a purple, and let's go. <laughs> I feel at home. I feel safe in my little comfort blanket of pink and purple. But, you know, we all have a style. Yellow and blue. It's a really popular colour combo, Louisa. Yeah, 
they are complementary colours in the colour wheel and therefore should absolutely go. Um, yeah, I just couldn't really get on board with it. I'll show you now because I, was, I wasn't sure which card to make. So that's the one that I'm talking about. And it's, again, using the masking technique. And that's with the Sentimental Park stamp set. So it's just this one here. And it's masked all the way around in a circle. Ah, uh, you like, I'm seeing the hearts. Bless you. Thank you. I can see the beauty in it, but I'm just like, oh, it's just, I should have done it in purple. <laughs> I don't know why I've got a thing about purple. Okay, so we've now got four of these flowers, okay? Um, so we're going to need all of these at some point, but probably not all together. So the first thing we're going to do is peel the backing off. Now, sometimes you'll get a bit that's got a kind of split in, and that makes it easier. And then, again, just on the back of the hand. Oh, yes, Katie, the artisan requests definitely do put, I think, most of us out of our comfort zone at one point or another. Okay, so that's that one. And then I can line that up. And can you see I'm just going to cover up the flower that I've already stamped? Camera struggling slightly in the light, so my apologies. Again, just peel off the back in. Just don't forget to take some of that stick off because it is a little bit vicious to begin with. And then that can stick over there. So what we can do now is bring in our small stamp and the bubble bath. So we've got two masks on, one here, one here. I'm gonna pick this stamp up and we're just gonna stamp it. And again, just make sure you're pressing hard enough and we're going to stamp over those two masks. Then we can lift this one off. And it's playing a little bit of shif uh, shifty. Oh, gosh, I nearly said a bad word. Playing a little bit of shifty shuffle with, <laughs> with the, um, the masking paper to make sure you get the right thing. Just making your Harry Potter Lego along with you. Ah, oh, bless you. I love a bit of Harry Potter Lego. So, again, just masking... This one, this one's masked, so I can stamp here. I know, Joanna, I need to be careful. I'll get my videos banned, okay? And then we can move this mask to here. And then we can stamp again. Ah, dinner, dinner. What did you have for dinner, Shaz? We had fajita chicken with rice, peppers. Uh, so it's just the spices made it fajita. Uh, rice, peppers. Um, so I'm just going to bring in, what do I need now? I need to, I can do another one of these. Uh, red onion, um, sweet corn. It was delicious. And then I'm going to do one over this side here. Treat yourself to the Astronomy Tower well, but ah, oh, bless you. I do not really, I'm not really into Lego, but I totally see how it could be quite addictive. So again, just moving, don't forget where your masks are. So this one's got a mask on it down here. I'm just going to peel that off so that I know where it is. Okay, and then we can put... Um, a mask over this little section here. So I just need to pull this, peel this away. Cheese, tomato and onion. Oh, oh, bless you. Bless you. I hope you, you're doing okay. Hospital, I've, I don't really want to say it because I might jinx it. I've never spent time in hospital. I think apart from like um, a fractured ankle, I've never been in overnight. Um, yeah, I'm very lucky and I really don't want to be. I hate hospitals with a passion. Okay, so that's going to go over there and mask over there. And then I'm going to stamp that one about there. Okay, so we've got all of our flowers stamped and then we're going to bring in soft sea foam. So it looks a bit of a pot mess at the moment, doesn't it? 
I'm hoping this comes together. So again, we just need to move our masks around and then we're going to stamp some leaves. So I've got a mask and a mask. It's a bit of a like I would I wouldn't call it a massively laborious process this one, but it's you know it doesn't it's not a quick fun. I, it's fun. It's not particularly quick. So we're going to stamp some leaves, and then I'm going to stamp another leaf coming out the top there. And then we can, I'm, I'm, I'm just copying the one that I did earlier. My brain's not entirely engaging today, but that's okay. That's why I do a test one. You're going on the 7th of July. Oh, Chris, are you staying in? Have you got to go in overnight? Not looking forward to it. I'm sure you're not. Th Joanna, three months. Oh, gosh. Hopefully you won't, that's not going to be a regular thing. You don't want to go back. Oh, look, I've ripped it. That's okay. Don't worry if you rip it. It will still work. So we're just going to cover that up. Which way does it go? Like that. And then we can bring in this little stamp, this little dude. And he's going to go over the top like that. And then we can bring in this one. I might just move that mask to there. Can you see what I'm doing? So you're kind of building up layers and you want to stamp what's in the foreground first and what's going to be in the background after. So you have to think about which order you need to stamp in and then you just keep peeling the masks off. I'm going to be a little bit careful with that one because I know I've ripped it on the side. But it definitely can still get used. Yeah, this is looking better already. I'll show you, we'll show you the other one, but this is this is far more me, I will say. Then we want two little ones, one there and one here, because then we're going to stamp in between the two. Then we want a big one. We're going to stamp this one. You had to have emergency spinal. Oh, oh Joanna, did they fix it? Because you are um, you walk fine, like, and it's fine is a comparative word, isn't it? But you're not paralysed anymore. Oh, bless you. Honestly, that would be awful. And I bet you're so grateful for the work that they can do in hospitals. The last time I spent any time in a hospital was when my brother was in hospital recently, about two years ago. Um, and yeah, that wasn't not fun at all. He was in for a little while. Scary stuff, isn't it? So that's going there like that. OK, so I think I think I've done all the stamping. Let's see. So you can save these masks and you can put them in your stamp case. Um, they do roll up that I will tell you, they won't actually stick to the stamp case. But now we can just start to unpeel them. I must say, I don't keep them. I already threw the other ones away that I used. I'm not a, I'm not a keeper in crafting, I must say. Can you start to see how it's all coming together? As you peel off the masking paper, you can see what's underneath. And then we're gonna do the big reveal so I'm going to keep it up like that because I think that's the best view. We're going to peel off this one in the middle and we're just going to go slowly and steady. So I did take that stick off, but I don't want to pull any of the card that's underneath. So just go slowly and steady. And there you've got your background. It's lovely, isn't it? Cute, cute. And then you've got a lovely space for stamping your sentiment. So we're going to grab the happy birthday. So the way I do this is to line it up in the middle. Now, if you had a stamp apparatus, sadly, we don't sell them anymore, then you could absolutely use that. And that's what I would recommend. But I'm just going to go freehand. 
Ah, oh, thank you, Carol. It's degenerative, but you're still independent. Oh, bless you, Joanna. Make the most, honestly, make the most of it. I know you do. I know you do. Because, yeah, you never know what the future holds, do you? And then, happy birthday. Right in the centre. Like that. It's back to front on my screen, but hopefully that looks okay to you. <laughs> and then what I thought I would do is just, um, I'm going to put it onto the backing now, because I think that's when you're really going to see it start to pop. How, what a difference does that make? Just layering it onto that um, background just makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Ah, oh, thanks guys. It's a really fun technique, this one. Um, I think one of the reasons I don't use it very often is because it creates single layer cards and I'm not very good with single layer cards. I mean, this is perfect. For me, this is perfect for a thank you card. Um, but if it was a birthday card like this, for me, I'd want to do just a little bit more to it. So I'm going to show you what I did to kind of jazz it up just a little bit. Grab some. But yeah, that is basic. That is basically the masking technique. And it's where you um, cover up certain elements to be able to stamp what's going to end up behind it so we stamped these two then we masked them and then we stamped that one and as you can see it looks now like it's coming from behind and then we masked that and we stamped that which again looks like it's coming in from behind so you've got to work foreground to background when you mask because when you reveal the mask you'll see what came below it does that make sense i hope so so i'm going to grab a little piece of scrap I've got Blackberry Bliss and I'm just going to stamp one of these flowers, this does need re -inking. in Blackberry Bliss and I'm going to stamp one of the smaller flowers in Bubble Bath. It is a lovely technique, I just don't use it often enough. And then I'm going to stamp a few of the leaves in Soft Sea Foam. Oh, that missed stamp. Let's see if I can line it up. I do like a photopolymer stamp because I can quite often just line it up again. I don't know how many leaves I'm going to want, so I'm just going to stamp a few. And then I'm afraid we're in with the, with the fussy cutting. We are in with the fussy cutting and the snips because there's no dies. At least I don't think there is dies for this set. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, actually. There might be. The more lovely technique and options you know about, the harder it becomes to use them. Oh, that is so true, Katie. That is so true. The more you learn, I think the more you learn about um, crafting and the more techniques. Yeah, so a lot of people have like a technique book, um, a technique folder. So you might do this card, then keep it in the folder and um, then you can write. And I know Stampin' Up! do the kind of folder with the Polly Pocket inserts and you can get them in the um, six by four size, like the C6 size, so that you can stick a couple of cards in and then you could write a card next to it, like a recipe card. You know too many, so you end up going for simple things. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just not a, I'm not a really a one layer card person. I don't know why, because when I see them, and I say this to people all the time, when I see a more simple, clean, beautiful, elegant card, that's exactly what I see when someone else has made it. I see beautiful, clean, elegant um, card. When I make a card like that, I think, oh, it needs more. And I don't know why I do it, but I do can't help. So all I'm going to do now is just give this a little bit of dimension with my fingers. Isn't it true, Joanna? When you see them, you're like, oh, that's beautiful. But when you do it yourself, you're like, oh, 
what does it need? What else can I put on here? <laughs> I don't know whether it comes from a place of thinking, oh, I should do more, when actually we shouldn't do more. We should just make a beautiful card. And if the beautiful card is one layer, I saw one that um, Carrie had made, I think, from Two Big Girls Crafting, and she had done the goose, and it was just a really simple um, one layer card with a goose stamped on it, and I can't remember what else, but it was absolutely beautiful. And the, it really came, it struck me as I was flicking through a friend of mine's swaps. Lizzie, it was your swaps. I was flicking through and I was like, that's gorgeous. 100% the same. Why? Yeah, why? Why do we do it? They're beautiful just as they are. They don't need anything else. And all I'm going to do is just add a few flowers. I'm just going to do those two and then a few leaves just to kind of, yeah, give it a bit of zhuzh, I think. Again, didn't didn't need it. It was absolutely perfect as it was, I think. But, you know, we are the way we are and we should roll with it. I am trying to get better at just accepting. What did I do the other day? Oh, I shared it on my social media. I don't know where it is. Oh, I'll get it. I'm just waffling now. I made this one. I made this background on my social media um, with, I did an Instagram reel, so it's uploaded as a YouTube short if you want to watch the videos in YouTube. Um, and I just heat embossed the background using the inked and tiled stamp set and then watercolored the background in Parakeet Party, I think it was. Um, oh, I can't remember the greens. No, Pear Pizzazz, Pear Pizzazz, Lemon Lime Twist and Garden Green. And then I was sitting there going, well, what do I do with it now? And I was there for about an hour, putting things on, taking things off. And then I decided all it needed was a sentiment. And it was done. Ah, thanks, Joanna. Um, and I'm really actually pleased with that. I'm glad I stopped. I could have just kept layering on it, but I was just, just thought, actually, no, just stop. Fabulous background, Chris. But then, then that's where I get stuck. I make all these backgrounds. Who else does this? Make all these backgrounds and then think, oh, what do I do with it now? Um, and actually, sometimes nothing. You don't do anything with it. You just add a sentiment. Green. Yeah, Mary, it's green just for you. And there you like a bit of green, don't you? Ah, uh, hey, Sue. No worries. No worries. You can go back and rewatch if you want to kind of know the masking technique, but potentially you already know how to mask. So I've just used the bold and beautiful stamp set. And uh, we've done a bit of masking, a couple of different ways. Firstly, we've created this, this background, um, this white space, and then stamped around it, and we used the masking to cutting out the flowers as well. Cease and desist. Yes, Katie, just stop. But I wasted an hour of my life in deciding that I needed to stop. I should have just realised straight away. So we've cut out a couple of leaves, and that's all I'm going to do is just add a few leaves onto this as well. Oh, thank you, Chris. Yeah, I was I was pleased I stopped in the end. Pleased I stopped. What are you guys up to this weekend then? I am teaching a class tomorrow and then gardening. And then I'm at work Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, which is a bit sad, but it's better than the days. You do something, then ask yourself, what are you going to do with it? Yeah. Make them and then go, what am I going to know? What do I do with it? Um, and sometimes I do nothing. I just had fun making the background because that's okay too. You know, you don't always have to make a card. I do say we don't play enough. People get um, hooked up on the fact that we have to make a card. And actually you can just play and then walk away from it. And I'm not very good. I'm preaching what I don't practice. I'm not very good at that either. But... Oh, what job, what job do I do? I do, um, I'm in shipping, that's the area I'm in, and I manage the shipping traffic in and out of our local harbour. So I'm on part of a team, there's 16 of us, and we work 24 hours, 24-7, um, so somebody in the office, three people in the office all the time, and we manage the shipping, everything from massive, massive um, cargo ships, um, all the way down to the smallest pleasure craft. And we manage them 
and make sure on a good day that everybody kind of gets where they need to be safely. I love it. It's really interesting. And I love shift work too, so it suits me. You are miserable. COVID again for the third time. Oh, Mary, no. Oh, it's rubbish. I must say I wasn't very ill with it um, the second time. Um, just kind of like more like a cold. Are you bad with it or just bored and stuck in? Gardening a school fate on Saturday with Scout Group and it's meant to be hot. Is it? Hot, hot, hot on Saturday. I might get out in the garden and read my book after work then. That sounds like fun. Doing creativity now. Oh, lovely. Do you know what? If I wasn't working, I would have been doing it. It's going to be fun. You guys are going to have a blast. Oh, thank you, Shaz. Uh, gardening at school fate, not very good. Not very, you're not very good either. Louise, I'm so sorry. The, the, I went, the conversation went a little bit quickly for me there and I missed what you're not very good at either. Stopping on your card making, it's hard. Did a COVID test today as she did it last week and her test has been tight. Came out negative. That's good. Oh, Mary, that was the weirdest thing for me was the loss of taste. I was actually scared, like genuinely scared that I would never recover my sense of taste. I was on Google. I was asking everybody I knew, when does it come back? I did not want, I couldn't imagine. I was, I was quite worried. And there are th worse things that could happen to you. 100% understand that. But it was just weird. I was eating a curry. Russ made me a curry. Because I don't, I don't lose my appetite at all when I'm ill. <laughs> like, not at all. In fact, I I'm, I'm get even hungrier. Um, so Russ made me a curry. The first time I had COVID, I was really poorly. Um, but I could still eat. He made me a curry. And I was just like, I can't taste it. I, Lizzie, I do love my crumb. <laughs> I really do love my food. You are so right. Yep, always have done. Don't mess with my food. Have you 18 months without taste of No. Shaz, that's awful. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, like I say, again, could be a lot worse, but you couldn't have guessed my job. It is honestly, most people say when I shift work, they think nurse. But no, managing the shipping traffic. I was in the Navy, so um, it kind of is kind of a job that suits, which I was really pleased to get, I must say. Gary was worried about the taste and said it was, it is, was, yeah, it's so bizarre. So do I go gold? This is where I need a bit of input, guys. Do we go gold or do we go pink? Gold or pink? I know, I've not heard the updates on the Titan. But yeah, thinking of those guys, we've we've been thinking about them at work quite a lot today, obviously because of what we do. Um, yeah, not not good at, at all. The guys and for who those those who don't know, um, because I don't follow the news very much either, but I have been for this one. The Titan. Um pink, 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 gold, Louisa. Sorry, you're outvoted, I think. Um pink, pink we are. Oh, that they think they've imploded. I mean, Russ worked out the pressure that would have been in, it, it kind of on that ve um, vessel at 4,000 metres deep. 40,000 tonnes. Now, if that's not right, I blame him. That's what he's told me. I, I do not know. But he said 40,000 tonnes of pressure um, would be exerted on the hull of that vessel. That's just incredible, isn't it? That's 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 way too much. Can you see just how, like, I I think just a couple of additions. Um, I'm not sure where that sequence is going. I'm terrible at sequin placement. I've got two on. Don't know where to go. Oh, bless you, Mary. No longer with us. Oh, that is sad, isn't it? That is sad. There. Let's put it there. Yeah, that's heavy. It's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. And there we go. That's our card. Oh, there we go. It does. Apparently, it has to be an odd number. It's just where they go. I really, really struggle with. Oh, Louise, I know it's awful, isn't it? Yeah. So they were they, the Titanic. Um, I think the Titanic didn't explode, did it? Unless I've missed something. 
the Titan, the submarine, I think, imploded. So that's the other one that I made. Yeah, I do. I try and do triangles, but I do. I, the amount of times I pull gems off and replace them. So that was for anybody who missed Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, and um, Pool Party. I like the pink one best too. Triangular shape, Chris. Yes, three or three or five, and try and pop them in a triangle. I think is the one of the keys to gem placement. So that's what I've done here as well. Look, I went for the same. I hadn't even noticed. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'm just like, ah, pull them all off, start again, try again. So that is that. Now, I had a crazy thought before I came on. So I did do another one as well. Um, but it's a bit, and that's more one layer. So that's more kind of these colours, but I used Lost Lagoon, Moody Mauve and um, Blackberry Bliss. Ah, uh, hey, Anne Maria, you snuck in there. I didn't realise you were joining us. And I did a long sentiment strip. So that's masked as well. And I used the long sentiment in here for a fabulous friend. But I got stuck when I then wanted to add some flowers and leaves because I was like, oh, there's nowhere for me to add them. Everywhere I think of is going to cover up some of this sentiment. So um, I kind of got rid of that one. And that's why we've got this one here. So I had a crazy thought where, when I came before I came on, and we're not going to get round to it all, but we are only at twenty to nine. So I thought I would make a wreath. Um, so what I was going to do is grab my trimmer. Shall we start? Who's got time? And I give me a colour combo to make a wreath with. All right, choose wisely. Um, I'm not obviously. If a few of you go for it, I might pick my favorite. <laughs> might pick my favorite. Um, but yeah, give me a give me a color combo for a wreath, a, a floral wreath. And I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock to what do we reckon? Five. Go bold. Go bold. Go bright. Paul polished pink. Okay, polished pink. Uh, no, that's retired, Katie. So it's no longer in my in my stash sadly but on melon mambo one two three so we're going five and five and five eighths gorgeous grape granny apple lemon lime twist captive audience got to be green mary wants some green in there i know i've got captive audience right about now it's good i like chatting with you all on a thursday evening i must say Oh, Tahitian Tide, Melon Mambo and Lemon Lime. Okay, what about we take a combo of those. Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Lemon Lime. What about those three? Is that good? I've got Berry Burst out as well. So we've got options. Let's go Gorgeous Grape, Lemon Lime Twist, because that was a little bit of a win, I think, between those two. Melon Mambo or Berry Burst? I think Melon Mambo. Berry Burst? I think Melon Mambo. You choose. I will figure out how I'm going to do this um, because I haven't thought that far ahead. This was just crazy. I literally, at one minute to eight, this came in my head. So... Melon Mambo. Mel oh, Melon Mambo is winning. It's a bit brighter, isn't it? Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Lemon Lime Twist. I hope that satisfies everybody's desires for this evening. So, what am I doing? I want to try and find the centre point. And I'm just, I've just got a compass. So, this is just kind of approximate, really. And I'm just going to draw on a circle. So I'm making this to go on a six by six card. So I'm just drawing on a really light circle. But more importantly, I'm trying not to get a massive dent in the middle when you use a compass. I didn't even have time to nip downstairs and go and get a... Oh, is it called a pair of compasses? I used to use these all the time when I navigated in the Navy as well. And I always just used to use it, a compass. I mean, a compass was... Oh, they found the missing sub on the floor. Oh, Cheryl, that's awful news, isn't it? Oh, I am sad for them. 
uh, for the families as well. That's awful. But I'm also glad they found it because not knowing is awful as well. You need some closure, I think, like that. Yeah, I know. I, that's exactly when I said it, Katie. I was like, oh, but actually the compass was the thing that you take. Back. We used to call it a polaris, um, but it's um, a compass too. Right, let's put that down. Let's grab. I'm going to try and use the same masks just because I've got them. And you guys don't want to sit, sit here and see me fussy cut all this stuff either. We'll see how this goes. I haven't used a compass since school. I do like a compass and a pair of compasses. Okay, so um, let's go. And I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to stamp over and hope I've done it light enough. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. So am I going for all the big flowers in Melamambo? Or am I going for a combination of, I think I'm just going to stamp and see what happens. Oh, somebody's messaging me. Sorry if you can hear that. And then we will go um, and cover this up. Sorry, I'm just gonna close Facebook down, there we go. So this is gorgeous grape. And that's gonna go like that. And then I think we'll cover that up and go, so I'm gonna mix these up. I'm not gonna go all big or all small. So I'm gonna need my chamois. And then we'll go melon mambo. I think the melon mambo needs, um, if your pad is too juicy, just grab something. So I'm actually just using a random ink block. And just rub it over the surface of the pad. What that's going to do is push some of that ink back down. Make sure you clean that off though. It's going to push some of that ink back down. And then it will mean... Onto bag four of six of your Lego. Oh, you nearly done then. And then that will mean that when you pick it up, it will just be a bit bolder. Can you see here? The colours are actually blending and merging. Um, and you're losing some of that definition in the line. With this, that's much clearer. So I'm going to actually cover these ones up, I think. I'm going to do some big flowers and we'll cover those pink ones up. And that will resolve that for me but it was just a bit too juicy, my ink pad. So we can cover these ones and then we can go in with a big, I think, gorgeous grape. Again, don't forget to push down fairly hard and then we're just gonna work our way around the circle. So that was Melamambo. So the one next to it can be gorgeous grape. And then we can cover that one up. So it's just a bit of a kind of process. You have to work around the circle. Those colours are lovely together, aren't they? Which is going to look really beautiful when we add in that um, lemon lime twist too. So I've got melon mambo again. And I'm going to go there with that one. And then move that across. That one to there. And then we've got room for a little gorgeous grape one in here. Now, what do we do? Should we have another big, gorgeous grape one, I think? I 
And then we want, I'm trying not to get ink all over it. I'm not convinced I'm winning. So there might be a sequin here or there, you know, just to cover a few things up as we do. Mary, I'm well aware that this is not particularly green. So um, <laughs> can you see, look, these flowers look totally out of place, these three big ones now, because the stamping's just not right. But we're just going to cover those up. We're going to stamp some more and we are going to cover those up. What a difference it makes, though, if you just smooth out the ink on that pad. So let's go. We've had a uh, small... Uh, Trying to go alternate colours, I'm not sure it's going to end in the right place, but we'll give it a go. So let's go Melon Mambo. Then we need a gorgeous grape. Uh, so let's go big gorgeous grape here, shall we? Where's that going to look? Let's go little gorgeous grape next to this one. It's decisions, decisions. My so my gorgeous grape is running a little bit dry, but I'm just going to make that work. And that yeah, the, my patterning hasn't quite worked because I'm going to cover this one up, and I'm going to end up with a melon mambo next to melon mambo, but it's not the end of the world. So that's going to go there like that. Now we're going to want to put on some of the greenery. So let's move those out of the way and that out of the way and bring in the lemon lime twist. So the sentiment will, no, the sentiment's going to go in the middle. I was going to use the nice big sentiment, thinking of you, caring about you, wishing you strength and peace. And I was going to stamp that right in the middle with a nice floral wreath around the outside. That's my plan anyway, Katie. We'll see. We'll see if it works. So this is the lemon lime twist. And we're just going to go round. I want a gem there, so... around the circle covering each one as we go and adding some greenery so this, some people hate this technique because it's quite fiddly it's a lot of kind of taking things off and putting things back on I think it's fun can't say you didn't try to help. You always try to help, my lovely. You always try to help. Sometimes I'm accepting of that help. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'm not. <laughs> you know me. My dad always said I was very headstrong. And uh, Russ will say the same now. He's like, you just can't. You won't be told. Nope, I won't. I've got to figure it out for myself. Look, I've got another one in the middle. <gasps> Stop making marks all over your card, Heather. But it happens to all of us. So I'm going to try and do it with my arm now, not my hand. And we need little ones. These get quite inky after a while as well, so that's not going to help my cause. That's my excuse anyway. I love this one, that little one with the little nuggets on. I really like that. It's still just, these are making it look really messy, but that's, that's okay. We're going to fix it. And then let's move that around there. And this one. And here. I 
I the other one I thought of using for this stump uh, for this technique was the zany zoo. I thought that would look quite cool. And then we're just going to have one of those in there, and that's enough greenery. So now we can pull those away. It's bold, right? It is bold. Headstrong as well. I do not blame you. It's the best way to be. Uh, afraid to say you've never read it. Oh, Mary. I thought we were friends as well. I might have to disown our friendship. How can you have never seen Harry Potter? That's just bonkers. So we need a bit of cardstock. And we need our big flower, don't we? And we need our melon mumbo. Don't be afraid, Mary. It's not for everyone. We love it. Yeah, no, do be afraid, Mary. Be, be very afraid. <laughs> I'm joking. Holly has requested that we watch the next movie at the weekend. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah, Russ and I started watching. I need to get him into it more. Um, he's, he's tried, bless him. He's shown willing several, several times. What was you too late for, Katie? So I'm just going to turn that over because I don't like messy grid paper. Some people like get their grid paper really messy. Um, I'm one of these people, I can't think if there's stamping all over my grid paper, which is annoying because I wish I could get more use out of it. I do save it for if I'm doing messy techniques or anything like that. And then I do save it, but... Got to be a clean piece of grid paper. Do you know what? I would love to go and see... Oh, it's too late to watch Harry Potter with dinner. I'd love to go and see The Cursed Child Louise. It's my 40th this year, and I absolutely would love to. I have hinted on many occasion, but it's crazy expensive, isn't it? We looked at tickets again, and I was just like, oh, it's just so expensive. And I think you'd have to, for me, I'd have to go and do both parts in a day as well. I mean, it would be awesome. Oh, Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. It's just like transports you into a different world. I am waiting. I was going to get the um, Harry Potter game. I even bought Russ's old PlayStation 4 off him. Um, but to play the Hogwarts Legacy, I'm so excited. And then it was delayed coming out. And um, I'm really busy over the next few months. So I'm going to save that for my winter. Um, I'm going to get the computer game, Hogwarts Legacy, and I'm just going to spend my evenings and weekends playing that. Oh, you can get them cheap at the top, but it's not the same, is it? You don't want to be sat up in the rafters. Yeah, I know. I'm not convinced I could bear it up there with the, um, the height of it as well and the, the looking down. Not scared of heights, I'm scared of falling. Um, I, I think it just might feel uncomfortable. And I'd want a good seat if you're going to go. Ah, oh, well, Katie, no, um, no. I had to purchase said console from him. I, he, I make him sound like a monster sometimes. He's not, he's so lovely. Um, but his sister asked if she could buy it off him um, for our niece. And he said yes, having forgotten that he told me I could borrow it. And then he was like, oh, no, but I could have got some money for it. So I, I had to go halves of what his sister would have paid him so that it belongs to both of us. So, um, yeah, and then we can sell it in the future. I know, I know, because he upgraded to a PlayStation 5. Um, but the PlayStation 4 will do me, I'm sure. Going to Wisley to get inspiration on colours. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Look how much better that, that looks now when we cover those horrible looking flowers up. But no, he's he's so lovely. He's so kind. He shares lots of his things with me, but yeah, the PlayStation was a... But then we're fair and square. We're fair and square with things. What's mine is mine and what's his is his. And we share most things sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> And that one can go on there like that. Now, the question is, do we put them up on dimensionals or do we put them down flat? And I think... 
I think they're going to go down flat. I just think it's such a single layer card otherwise that we're going to go down flat. Now, I think I'm thinking gorgeous grape card base. Flat, yeah. Oh, flat, 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 flat. Good, good, good. We are a great match, Eloise. We really are. Match made in heaven, the two of us. Wouldn't change him for the world. Just wants a bit more zhuzh, that one. Now, the only thing I haven't done is added some um, extra leaves. But I'm going to grab a card base. Oh, who else is totally confused by the colour combos change now? Whoever thought of putting Gorgeous Grape in with the Regals? PS4 is good enough. Yeah, it's good enough for me too. And I have got a Nintendo Switch, which I treated myself to this year as well. <clears throat> oh, okay, we need this bigger. What am I doing? There. Um, which has been good fun. But again, I'm just a bit busy at the moment, sadly, to play too much. <clears throat> okay, that's going to go on there like that. Again, just makes it pop, doesn't it? I know, Eloise, I pulled out my colours the other day to do my card with and um, to kind of get rid of the old cardstock. And I pulled out both pumpkin pie and early espresso thinking they had retired. And I was like, oh, they didn't go. I don't know why I thought they'd retired. Um, but yeah, luckily I noticed and put them back. And then I'm just going to grab a card base. You like, I hope you like, six, oh gosh, I've made it big. And that's going to go on there like that. So these must be seven inch cards, six and three quarters. This is a six and three quarter inch card. You could have put this up on dimensionals as well, but I, A, I'm thinking of time. And that is a lot of dimensionals to go. Oh, my glue is just running out. Is it going to last? I think that one's for the bin. Making a cute chocolate fountain for the Lego set. Oh, not a real one then. I've got a real chocolate fountain and it's at risk of being removed from the kitchen if I don't use it. So I feel like I might need to have a chocolate fountain party soon. I should open it up tonight. Anyone who fancies coming around for a chocolate fountain party, come along. Okay, so gem wise, now I'm aware that I haven't done the sentiment and I'm aware that this might want a few leaves to go alongside it. But just what I think, Gem wise, we've got this lovely set, which is the Glossy Dots Assortment. So we're going to pop some of those on, I think. They've got Melon Mumbo, Melon Mumbo and Gorgeous Grape in, which is perfect. Now, having said that I was going to use this one, thinking of you caring about wish, wishing you, wishing you strength and peace. I'm not convinced that's the right sentiment to go in here now. But that one might be a bit small. Thanks for blessing my life. And I'm not convinced that the happy birthday is right either. Thinking of you, caring about you, wishing you strength and peace. With some flowers, that's not a bad, that's not a bad match, is it? Not sure Ronnie Chocolate and Crafting go together. No, it would have to be a non-crafting party, I think. 
Um, yeah, no, runny chocolate. I um, had a chocolate fountain at my wedding and I got it all over my wedding dress. You absolutely could do the sentiment on a circle and pop it up. And do you know what? It was going through my mind, but I didn't do it. So let's go for it because we can always change it. So let's stamp it in the middle. I think we'll go gorgeous grape. Bring you the chocolate. Hmm. Let's just give that, yeah. So you could go with it right in the middle, which I think looks brilliant. Um, or you could put it up on a circle, which is going to help hide some of that mess. So I've got a two inch circle. I'm not convinced that's going to be enough. Or the big one that's just come out, which was with circle sayings. And that. Your mum wanted one for hours, but the smell at the wedding fair was overwhelming. <gasps> really? I loved mine. Absolutely loved it because I don't really eat cake. Well, I do. If someone's offering me cake, I'll eat it. But um, I, it's not like my go-to. Biscuits and chocolate is. So let's just stamp this on a scrap of paper. So this is two and three eighths. I've got two and a quarter. Yeah, that's a bit better. Two and three eighths was just a bit big. So this could go up on dimensional as if it will come out neatly. Okay. And then you could pop that up on, that looks quite nice actually. And then that would cover my thing up as well, my errant bit of smudge. Oh, circle sayings. You know, I've hardly used it, Eloise, the circle sayings. I really need to get that out again, I think. You had an amazing cake. Three tiers, one fruit, one orange, one sponge. Oh, my goodness. The buttercream. Oh, that sounds amazing. Lemon drizzle cake. Oh, do you know what? I do. I'm, I, I do like cake, but my... Um, I don't know if I should speak... I don't know if I should say this, but my aunt made my wedding cake. And it was a fruit cake, and I really don't... I don't really like fruit cake. And then my mum, bless her soul um wasn't the greatest of cooks hence she didn't make my cake she could barely knock a meal together um but she um iced it and she iced it with i think it must have been royal icing i now know which is like ridiculously strong icing right and we couldn't cut the cake so we had the whole knife and um owen had his hand on top of mine and i thought he was going to break it it was pushing that hard to cut through the icing. And then I had to say, stop. That's really hard. <laughs> and um, we had to swap over. So his hand was underneath. So pink or purple gems, I wonder. I've got more purple ones. But is that for a reason? Let's go purple. Joanna's on, so let's go purple. Oh, it was rock solid, Katie. Absolutely rock solid icing. <laughs> it was far too, yeah. See now again, where the, where the, do the gems go? I've got one. You're seeing my struggle live tonight because I've not prepared this. It's got to be purple, hasn't it? You're a girl after my own heart. Um, does it go up here? Does it go here? Does it go here? Does it go here? Lizzie, you're good with gems. She's Lizzie would probably say, just throw them on. Don't worry about it. So we've got one and we've got another one. We've got to try and get another one on here somewhere. What about there? Is that right? Does that look good? One there, one there, one there. Is that enough? Purple, purple. She probably didn't add glycerine, which helps keep it. So, ah, oh, that might be it. 
beautiful should be in a frame. Oh, Joanna, bless you. Thank you. I love making a, a, a wreath. I've just made one recently. I can't show you. Um, I don't even know if I can tell you what it's for, but keep your eyes peeled um, later this month. And that's going to be coming out. So, and I was really pleased with that. There we go. There's our little card. Um, so they, we made that one and we made, do you know what? I'm going to go wild tonight because there's been 20 of you on and I've had a blast. I'm going to give away two cards. Um, I'm going to give away this one and I'm going to go wild and give away this one. I'm being selfish because I really like this one and I'm going to keep it and give it to somebody for their birthday. So, although I might, I might change my mind and give it away as well, but we're going to give away these two cards. So yeah, anybody who's commented, you will be in with a chance of winning these two and I will let you know when I've done the draw. Thank you for stopping with me. We are 10 past to nine, so we've run over a little bit, but I know you all had, hopefully you all had fun. And uh, so this was Melon Mumbo, Gorgeous Grape and Granny Apple Green um, on a seven by seven card, basically. And this one is Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock and Pool Party, which you didn't actually see me make, but it's exactly the same as and this one. It's just, it's, these are more my colors, I think. Uh, will I be here next week? That's a really good question. I know you didn't ask it. I asked it. Um, I think I will be. I'm not convinced I'm working. Um, Thursday. Ah, uh, no, I might not be here because I'm going next Thursday to go and watch some tennis, which I've never done before. Um, but I'm going with a friend of mine to Eastbourne to go and watch some tennis. Um, so she said we'll normally get back quite late she goes quite often but um her friend that she goes with passed away so she invited me and uh yeah we're gonna go and do that ah uh, hey pixie petal i can i don't remember your name i'm so sorry i'm so bad with names <laughs> uh yeah east eastbourne do you know what? i always think it's west but no i know i should know eastbourne is east yeah some tennis so oh, out for the day um, so yeah, I'm going to go and keep her company and uh, enjoy myself hopefully. So if I'm around, if I'm back and I've got something prepped, then I'll, I'll pop on. But if not, I will see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for joining me. Honestly, it's an absolute pleasure to have you all. Um, if you're watching on the catch up as well, thank you ever so much for your company and your patience and your, um, yeah, your support. So um, yeah, take care everybody. And I will thank you, Mary. There's too many of you on tonight for me to name you all individually. But thank you so much for popping on. It really is um, the reason I do these um, is to have a bit of fun with you guys. And yeah, if you want more fun with us, come over to the Songbirds Nest, which is my VIP group. And um, you can come and uh, see more behind the scenes stuff. And uh, yeah, come play with us. All right, guys, take care. Look after yourselves. Have a fabulous weekend. Stay cool because it's going to be quite hot. And uh, I see you all again really soon. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.